Easy um, Machombeni. Easy uh, hails from Hammanskral. He matriculated in year of school in Harte Piersport in 2015. And he was one of the people that attended the Forfa Empowerment Program at the Center for AAC in 2016, 17, and 18. He has previously been employed in the retail sector and is currently working on a poultry farm. Um, Izzy, we are very grateful to have you here and we are really looking forward to listening to you talk about the, the, uh, your journey in terms of employment and what that has meant for you as a person who uses AAC. Uh, welcome, Izzy. It's really wonderful to have you here and we're so excited to listen to you and learn from you. Thank you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me this afternoon. Technology is really wonderful and I would never have thought I will do a presentation to people all over South Africa and even from other countries from my house in Hammondskraal. My name is Easy M. Tombeni and I live in Hammondskraal about 50 kilometers north of Pretoria, South Africa. I am 29 years old. I was born with cerebral palsy. My first language is Zitsonga, but I am pretty good at English too. And in fact, also some of the other South African languages. I often use speech to communicate, but I also use my Android phone to have an English voice. That is what I am using to talk to you today. I hope you can all understand me well. So today I want to talk to you about employment. Many people think a person with disabilities like me cannot get employment. Especially if your speech is hard to understand. Well. I am here to tell you that it is possible. The journey is not smooth. So I want to tell you today why it is important to me to be employed and what helped me to find employment. I will talk about some of the challenges I have overcome. I will also share some tips for persons with a communication disability who want to be employed and also for employers. So let me share with you what helped me to get employment. First of all, I always worked hard and had a goal. When I grew up, I wanted to be a businessman because of my entrepreneurship at school. I was having a small spaza shop in my room where people come buy sweets in the afternoon. With that money, I paid my matric farewell. Second, I made sure I got a good education. I worked very hard to finish matric. I put all the effort to make it happening. In 2016, I attended the FOFA Empowerment Program at the Center for AAC, University of Pretoria. The word FOFA is Sasutu and it means to fly. It is an empowerment program for young adults who use AAC. We came together for a week of workshops and lectures and fun activities. We learned how to communicate better and we were encouraged to have dreams for our lives and for our future. What specifically motivated me at FOFA? We had to make a poster about the dreams for our future and also write down specific goals and steps to make our dreams come true. Dr. Ramari Bui from Kano Consulting spoke to us about the importance of getting qualified and how to search for a job. Seeing me and other people who have the same condition like mine making success of their lives. Terence told me that the opportunity which is up there for me to make success of my life. Opa helped me to put my mind together and unfold my dreams. 
After I attend OPA in 2016, I felt motivated and went out to look for a job. I went online search for a job. I found a company called Harambi. Harambi is a company that helps young people to get employed. Attending Harambi mean that I had to wake up early in the morning to catch a 4.15 a.m. bus. The bus will drop me at Hatfield at 6.10 a.m. The training program start at 7.30. The reason I use the bus in the morning is the cost was less. Attending the program by Harambi gave me the necessary training I needed. After my training there, the Harambi staff organized an interview with Truworths for me. Truworths is a clothing retailer. Interview went well. I got the job at Truworths Jubilee Mall because it's was near my hometown. The colleagues treat me very well. I received bad treatment from my manager. The first manager was making jokes about how I walk and the way I talk. After a while, she resigned from Truworths. After manager come in and she was good for little, she started to give me less working hours than another's workers. Now less hours means less salaries. I went to her and spoke with her about my hours. She told me that I'm useless. That is why my hours are not same as another's. I take the matter to high authority and investigation was made. She made the workplace living hell for me. I call my former teacher to help me find another job and she did help me find another job. So then I had the job as a stock controller at El Gromer on a poultry farm. I had wonderful time. At first when I arrived there I found people speaking in another language Shona that I couldn't understand. As time passed I also learned how to speak it. The treatment I receive at the farm was wonderful. I met awesome people who understand me, Sari, Ulindi, Stanley, Debbie, many more. We had morning prayer seasons every day, which I enjoyed a lot. My colleagues treated with respect. Even if I was far from home, I was not lost because there were people who was taking care of me. Well, then a very sad thing happened. The farm needed to retrench some people because of the bird flu. I was also among those who were retrenched. It is sad but it will not cause me to give up. Now I'm busy looking for another job. What keeps me going is the Bible verse Job chapter 2 verse 10. It says, if receive good things from the Lord we must also accept the bad things.